Hi students, in this session I am going to teach you three excellent tricks to find most stable resonating structures. For example, you see these questions, any of these questions, any of these question, this or this or this, any question, just what you do is uh, click on a pass and try on your own and check it out how much time you take to solve this question. But uh, give me time, uh, by the end of this video, I will make you to solve these kind of questions just less than 30 seconds let's begin the session uh, simple uh, three simple tricks i'm going to tell you trick number one trick number one more number of covalent bonds what you have to do you should count the more number of covalent bonds if more is the number of covalent bonds more is the stability of the structure trick number two if uh, two structures are having more covalent, same covalent bonds. Suppose A is having five covalent bonds, uh, B is having six. Means six covalent bond structure is more stable. Done. If suppose A is also having six, B is also having six covalent bonds. Then what you should do is you have to check in this two which is a neutral molecule. Neutral molecules means without any charge. Neutral molecules one is more stable than the charged molecule. Charged molecule in the sense plus minus if it is there then it is a charged molecule if no charge means for example b molecule is having plus and some minus or plus it is having or minus it is having then a is more stable again trick number three negative charge should be present on more electronegative atom for example b is there and c is there c is also having plus and minus in its structure a b is also having c is having b is having then in that case more electronegative atoms for example carbon nitrogen oxygen which is more electronegative negative oxygen is more electronegative then nitrogen is more electronegative always electronegative atom should have negative charge that's it within a two minutes i completed this three tricks right that's it more covalent bonds first priority next neutral molecules then charged in charged more electronegative atom should have more negative charge now see how fatafat you solve the question question number one Compare relative stability of the following resonating structures. Now count the number of uh, uh, you know covalent bonds. 1, 2, 3, 4 and between oxygen and hydrogen one bond is there 5. Ma'am why are you not counting CH3 bonds? You if you want you count it but here CH3 is there, here CH3 also there. So I am not counting. 1, 2 and this pi bond is 3, 4, 5 sigma. Here 5 sorry 5 covalent bonds. Here how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here also 5 covalent bonds. Same. Both are same. See the next one. 1, 2, 3. 3 between oxygen and hydrogen one bond is there 4 ma'am here all oxygen hydrogen bond is there I don't it's fine your wish check properly and count the number of covalent bonds in this case 4 covalent what I told you what I told you if suppose both are having first priority covalent bonds both are having same covalent bonds then what you should do trick number 2 charge one is unstable less stable neutral molecule is more stable so first A is more stable A and which is the least stable in this three C is least stable. Why? Why C is least stable? Because less covalent bonds are present. And then B A because more covalent bonds are neutral. Next B uh, more covalent bonds and charge is there. And last is C because less covalent bonds. A B C option number one is the correct answer. You also got the same answer. Yeah. Let's see the question number two. If you if you able to do this question on your own means you have to hit on a like. Okay. See the question number two. Most stable resonating structure is by looking how difficult the question is but see how easily you can solve 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 ma'am you are not counting CH3s and CH bonds because it is same in all that's why I am not counting in atoms position is not changing that's why I am not counting if you want you can count but it takes time na? so instead of wasting time we can do like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here how many sigma bond how many covalent bonds sorry 8 covalent bonds 8 covalent bonds in this case how many 7 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here also 7 1 2 3 4 
five, six, seven, seven. Now in this four, what is the correct answer? Can you tell me? A option is correct answer. Do you hit the like or not? Still you didn't miss. Now itself you have to like the video. See the question number three. Most, no ma'am, I won't hit the like. Now I want to solve the third question also. So after solving third question, you hit. Most stable resonating structures of the given cation. Uh, what is the point number one? You have to count the covalent bonds. Okay, just to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ma'am, this structure is same in all that... I See this 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 unit is same in this this one one uh, you know here one one sigma one pi bond is there here two pi bonds is there but here also same kind of structure same kind of structure in such a way I will solve is fine your wish but see how I am doing one two three four five six seven seven covalent bonds seven covalent bonds here also you count it one two three four five six seven eight covalent bonds eight here. From any direction, anywhere I am giving numbering simply. I am not following any IUPSC rule to give the numbering. So, don't get confusion. Anywhere, anywhere uh, where I feel convenient, normally I am giving numbering. So, 7, 7, 7, this is 8. So, option B is the correct answer. You can take it out any material and you can start solving. Definitely you will be surprised. Most stable resonating structure of the given cation. So you can see for this structure in this four which is more stable they are asking. Point number one what you should do you have to count the more stable more covalent bonds. Now I am counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Here 11. Here I am counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Here also 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow, here 12. And see the next structure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 3 are having 11 and option C is having 12. So, 12th C option is the correct answer. Now, see the next question. Question number 5. Most stable resonating structure of formic acid is. By seeing this, can you say directly your answer? What is the first thing you have to say? First thing you have to do, you should count the co uh, number of bonds. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, between oxygen and hydrogen, one bond will be there. 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, here 1 bond 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So here 5 bonds, here 5 bonds, here 4 bonds, here 4 bonds. So more covalent bonds in these two, either A option or B option. Now can you tell me A is more stable or B is more stable? A is not having any charge, it is a neutral molecule, but B is having a charge. So A is the correct answer, that's it. Now see the next question. Most stable resonating structure of the following is. This is the structure you have to find the most stable in these four. What you have to do? Just count the number of bonds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Here 11. 1, 2, 3. Anywhere you start giving numbering. It is not like you have to start, you know, because I am not writing any IUPSC name. Just I am giving counting to the number of bonds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow. It is having 12. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it is having, which is having more number of covalent bonds. Option C is the correct answer. Done. And what I do is, these two questions I will give you as a test to yourself. Question number 7. You check the question. Question number 7. Take a screenshot of this. Take screenshot of this. This is A greater than C greater than B greater than Correction I did. Okay. See, take a screenshot. Little I am focusing. See. Okay. And now see the next question also. Take a screenshot. Try on your own. Try. You know, three three are there. Which order is correct? And I, in the next video, I will give the answers to those, uh, these two questions. My name is Komali. I am your chemistry mentor. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
in my channel almost 390 plus uh, tricks are there every trick is different every trick is unique uh, you, whenever uh, you know put a target yes the, today i have to complete this chapter these many videos and complete it still if you want to learn once you like that still you want to learn in a systematic manner i am taking online classes if you, those who are interested i will give my whatsapp number in the description you can uh, send your 10th mark sheet and photo whatever the course is going on if it suits for you you can join and you can learn entire chemistry in a simple and easiest way because best mentors if you select you, your preparation and your path towards a success becomes easy see you soon in next video